Welcome, Tobias, with Teenage. Welcome to our uh, camper setup here at the Super Roof 19. We have some stuff to talk about, which is, uh, let's start with the sampling functionality of the LP1, or sorry, LPC. Um, so as you know, there's a built-in microphone. You can also connect the headset. And before you could only uh, uh, sing over it, like use it as a voiceover mic, but now we can go into uh, sampling mode. So kind of just like the the OP1 is for the drums and for the the synths, uh, 12 seconds time or uh, and six seconds, and there's no hardware update needed, so you don't need any module or anything, it's just a free software update. It's something we're working on, so it will be available very soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but very soon. And it does allow for, uh, on the drum tracks, 12 seconds, and on the synth tracks, 6 seconds. And the, on the drums, it will be a sliced up sample, so 24 sounds, basically. Uh, and it will be sliced up over time, so not no transient detection yet. Who knows? You know, we we, we work constantly with this. Uh, and then on the on the synth tracks, it's a chromatic sample that can be up to six second long. So as you know, we we put out the 400 before, and um, we also announced the 170 and the 16. That's over there, the keyboard. But we weren't really happy with the functionality. Uh, when we when we got the prototype, so we decided to pull them and not release them, and then completely redo it and turn it into a super product that we could be really proud of instead. So now the keyboard, the 16, is a um, it's in use here, and it's uh, also included in the 170. So it's a four track, up to 64 steps per track um, sequencer with uh, CV gates out. Um, it has MIDI out over 3.5 and uh, pocket operator out. Uh, you have individual uh, timing multipliers. So if you clock it in and, and turn this, you'll get a uh, different uh, uh, clock multiplier. You have individual ARPs per track, individual swing per track. So now you can really swing your, your um, Eurorack system or your modular setup. Um, you have a keyboard that can be scaled, these can be scaled. So we basically we did, we did a product that we could be really proud of and uh, I think you're gonna like it. This, the 170 comes with the keyboard and a few modules, uh, this system like this, and then the separate keyboard, the, the 16, can also be bought separately. Um, so you can connect that to the rest of the pocket operator modulars or to any other system. Well, sure, I mean, it's a three oscillator system with a few basic modules. Right now, I'm using the OpLab module to send a clock to uh, in here. And then this is a 16-step sequencer, but I could, uh, when, I, when I turn one of these steps to the max, I, I, uh, I can shorten the, the, the length. So it will only play the previous ones, but then I can go back. And then, um, uh, yeah, you can uh, patch it with this set setup uh, and do uh, a whole bunch of sounds. And right from the start, we, we announced it as a modular system, but it's in this format a set system. So it's, I guess, semi modular. So we're also showing uh, the possibility to take the individual modules and something we did back in the shop, just did some uh, custom face plates. So you can mount that in any Eurorack format. Yeah, so this, this is uh, similar modules as in the first uh, run of the 400. Uh, we're experimenting here with a sequencer that has a pocket operator uh, out and we lowered the clock here uh, to be more compatible as well, but it's, it's Eurorack compatible. And then how we power this in this specific system is we use the power uh, distribution board from our 400 system, yep. connect all these modules to that, and then from that to the bus power uh, 
in this system here. But this is just a proof of concept that you can you can really go modular. We haven't started selling the individual modules yet, but that's also something that's coming down the line. Something that I like with our products is that everything talks with each other and everything listens to each other, so, or itself. Uh, so, um, like I say, before I have the op lab module here going into the, the sequencer, I could also go to the, the module track and have that sending gate and CV and I can actually open here let's see Sorry. so here's some some of the different um, connectivity that you can get out of this module uh, so basically you have uh, CV gate out and if you have a stereo to dual mono uh, cable you can get an additional two CVs. Input is MIDI and trig over 3.5 millimeter and then output is MIDI trig and pocket operator. So using our regular stereo audio cables we can get MIDI, we can get CV, we can get gate into this system, into the other systems um, and from here or from here, you can go to your standard Eurax stuff. Using the, the 16 keyboard, you can get the, the MIDI as well over a, a 3.5 or a DIN breakout uh, adapter that comes with it. Uh, and then of course you have the, the visual uh, aspect of this where you use uh, Bluetooth. Um, Oh, sorry. So you can do uh, visual sequencing as well. Uh, this is some different uh, packs that our good friend uh, uh, Keiro Takahashi, I think his name is, has been doing as kind of showing what's possible. So these are also available for download. You can go from there and then explore whatever you, you want to do in Unity, which is a free software that allow you to create 2D or 3D graphics and then import that here. So we've been showing the sorry, here we go. The presets before. Uh, so these are different camera angles and then different effects. So you can really have a, a full or an, uh, quite interesting live show with all this stuff. Having uh, the visual aspect and the audio to go with also the lights, the DMX uh, compatibility that this has also. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's fun tools to work with, and I love that we can connect with every, everything else. Um, so I think that's, that's what we have to show people.